Jordan Chase, and I'm here at the Creative Arts Emmy Awards. Stay tuned with the Black Hollywood Live. And I'm here with Sean Kerrigan, and he plays Stitch on Young and the Restless. Young and the Restless. And we just, I just heard an interesting conversation. So we talked about Floyd and Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao. So who do you have? Who do you think? Well, I think Mayweather's going to destroy him. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want Mayweather to destroy Pacquiao. Trust me. I'm, I love, ba I love Pacquiao, but Mayweather's too fast, too strong, too skilled, and uh, you know, Pacquiao's he's, he's he's had too many wars. He's had too many battles. I used to be a pro boxer myself. I was gonna you you beat me to the punch because okay. I heard you say that. Now tell me about your background as a boxer. Uh, I grew up I grew up in an Irish family, and that was what we did. My dad was an ex-fighter. All my brothers were boxers, and it's what we did. You know, I fought in the amateurs, uh, won the gold gloves three times, and then I turned pro, and I fought professionally for a couple years before I started being before I became an actor. Wow. So how did you get into acting? And like, were you afraid that the boxing would like kind of mess up your face? Because that's kind of a brutal sport. I was luckily lucky enough. I was I was pretty good. I was pretty good. What's up, man? Hey, how are you? Hey, what's going on, dude? Sorry, I gotta say what's up to my homeboy. I love homeboy. it. I love you. Hey. So, uh, you know, I I'd always in high school. I'd always I would always been. I had in high school. I'd always been involved in drama, but I was a boxer and wrestler, and those are my sports. And so I always knew that I wanted to go back into acting, but I wanted to, I wanted to take a shot at boxing first. And so I fought for a couple years. My fights were getting pretty tough. And so as my fights got tougher, I was like, you know what, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. And, uh, and then I started acting 14 years ago. Wow, so you've been acting for a minute. Yeah. And now who is like your favorite fighter? Because you kind of sound a lot like Muhammad Ali because he wanted to stay pretty. Fight like a bubble, yeah. like, bubble bee, sing like a bee. What was his saying? What was your saying while you were boxing? When I was boxing, my, 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 my fight name was Sean the Sledgehammer Kerrigan. <laughs> Because you were a sledgehammer. I had a good right hand. Okay. I had a good left hook, too. And a good left hook. Now, hand-eye coordination is really important in hand boxing. Hand-eye coordination is very important. I was also very fast, and I slipped a lot of punches. I was very, like, you know, I, got, I had really good defense, and I had a good jab. And, and so, but, you know, sooner or later when, you, when you're boxing, you're going you're gonna to find guys that are, that are just as tough as you, if not tougher. And as my fights started to progressively get, get harder, I realized I had, to go, I had to go one road or the other, and I chose acting. Mm. So if you had to give some young actors who are just starting in the game three tips on how to get to where you are, what would those three tips be? Uh, number one, always take fountain. <laughs> That's a Hollywood joke because, that's a, yeah. yeah. That's an old Hollywood joke. I'd love to take credit for that one. Uh, uh, no, I, I would just say, look, really decide that that's something you want to do because it's a long road. Some people, it happens a lot quicker than others. Yes. Some people, it takes a long time. I've been acting for 14 years. It took me 12 of those years to land on Young and the Wrestlers. Wow. So I've been, I've, I've, I've uh, ridden the, the wave. roller coaster. Yeah. I was in Tyler Perry's film, uh, Single Moms Club. Oh, were you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where you know me. Yeah. So uh, that was uh, acting with Tyler Perry was amazing, and, and being a part of that film was wonderful. Um, it was a wonderful cast, and it, you know I really enjoyed the movie. So, but I got that. I, I, I shot that movie right before I got Young and the Restless. Oh, that's excellent. Now speaking of like the discipline, because I know when you're shooting a soap opera, you shoot so many scenes, so your memory has got to be on point. Yeah. So coming from boxing to acting. You were already ready for that kind of discipline. So, yeah. what would be your suggestion on someone like as far as remembering all of those scenes and being able to take direction so quickly? My my my, my advice would uh, to any actor or anybody that's getting in this business: do your work, do all the work. Don't leave anything on the table. You you study those lines until you like you know them backwards and forwards, and you get them down. And you put you you make choices, make bold choices. Always make a choice and, and really go. And never stop training, never stop growing, and never stop trying. That's from Sean Kerrigan, Stitch on Young and the Restless, Tyler Perry. He's the man, boxer May second. I got Pacquiao. He's got Floyd Mayweather. We'll see what happens May second. I'm Madison Chase. This is Black Hollywood Live. Thank you for staying tuned. Find me on Twitter at one Madison Chase Fit.